أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا بني إسرائيل اذكروا نعمتي التي أنعمت عليكم وأني فضلتكم على العالمين يا بني إسرائيل يا بني O children يا بني O children O sons Israel 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 Uskuru you remember you remember ya bani if ya bani israel azkuru o sons of israel o children of israel you remember ni'matiya my favor ni'matiya my favor allati which an'amtu i favored an'amtu i favored alaykum upon you alaykum upon you on you wa anni and that i wa anni and that i faddaltu exalted i exalted faddaltu i exalted alal tukum you anni faddaltukum that i exalted you Alal alamin over the words. Allah over al alamin the words. So the running translation would be O children of Israel, remember my favors which I bestowed upon you, and that I exalted you above all peoples. So here it does not mean that uh, uh, the Israelites are the chosen people as they claim and they uh, and the Holy Quran supports that. So they were chosen, yes, but they were chosen at that particular time. And in this verse, they were exalted um, uh, people in their time, in their time when uh, uh, when the Allah Ta'ala chosen uh, Israelites and Allah Ta'ala sent prophets after uh, prophets among the Israelites. So this is what is being mentioned. It's not that Allah Ta'ala has uh, exalted them above all people for all times to come. It's not the case. Moving on to verse number 124. What the ku yaman la tajizi and you guard yourselves that and you fear yoman that day yoman the day sorry yoman the day what the ku yoman and you fear the day you guard yourselves against the day la not tajzi serve as substitute tajzi serve as substitute tajzi serve as a substitute nafsun a soul nafsun a soul an nafsin for soul no soul shall be shall serve as a substitute for another soul shay'an at all shay'an at all wala and not yukbalu will be accepted wala yukbalu and will not be accepted minha from it minha from it adlun ransom adlun Ransom. Vala and not tanfa'u ha it benefits it. 
wala tanfa'uha it benefits it shafa'atun intercession shafa'atun intercession walahum and not and 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 they will not wal and wala and not whom they yun sarun they shall be helped yun sarun they shall be helped so the running translation would be and fear the day when no soul shall serve as substitute for another soul at all nor shall any ransom be accepted from it nor any intercession avail it nor that sh they shall they be helped nor shall they be helped moving on to verse number 125 wa ibtala ibrahim rabbuhu bi kalimatin fa atammahun qala inni ja'iluka lin-nasi imama qala wa min zurriyyati qala la yanalu ahdiz-zalimin now the the topic has shifted to hazrat ibrahim alay salam uh, in the previous verses allah the almighty has spoken about the israelites and how israelites in in the first verse we, they were chosen they were chosen because allah taala showed many favors bestowed many favors upon them and the biggest favor was prophethood and prophets of our prophets were sent in amongst israelites and then allah taala in the next verse reminding them that they should be fearful to allah the almighty and fearful of the day when there will be no ransom and no no intercession and no substitute for another soul and there will be no help except the righteous actions and deeds so after saying this the topic shifts and the even previous many verses this has been the topic of the israelites now the topic is shifting wa ibtala wa and id when ibtala he tried ibtala he tried ibrahim abraham when he tried abraham rabbuhu is lord when his lord tried abraham bi kalimatin with words bi kalimatin with words fa atamma hunna so he fulfilled them so he fulfilled them fa atamma hunna so he fulfilled them qala he said inni meaning god said inni indeed i ja iluka will make you linnasi for people imama a leader imama a leader he will god will make abraham a a leader for the people qala he said wa min zurriyati and wa and min from zurriyati my progeny and from my progeny qala he said meaning god said la not yanalu does embrace la yanalu does not embrace ahdi my covenant ahdi my covenant azalimin the transgressors the transgressors the running translation is and remember when his lord when his lord tried abraham with certain commands commandments which he fulfilled 
He said, I will make you a leader of men. Abraham asked, and from among my offspring, he said, my covenant does not embrace the people, of my, does not embrace the wrongdoers. So here, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, Allah Ta'ala, uh, speaking about Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, that Allah Ta'ala made Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam an imam for the people. And Hazrat Ibrahim immediately asks, what about my progeny? What about my, uh, will they be leaders as well? Allah says that if they are transgressors, then there will be no um, uh, they they won't they won't get any uh, leadership role as a leader. Then moving on to verse number one twenty six. Wa idh jalna al bayt mathabat al nasi wa amna wa taqidu min maqam Ibrahim musalla. وَأَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ أَنْ تَحْهِرَ بَيْتِيَ لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْآكِفِينَ وَالرُّكَّ السُّجُودِ وَإِذْ and when جَعَلْنَا we made Al-Bayta the house al Baida is being referred to the Khana Kaaba in Mecca. Wa is jalna al Baida, and we when we made the house Mathabatan, a place to gather. Mathabatan, a place to gather. Linnasi, for people. Linnasi, for the people. Wa amna and security. Wa amna and security. Wa takhidu and you hold mim maqami from station Ibrahim Abraham. Wa takhidu mim maqami Ibrahim Musalla. And you hold from the station of Abraham, a place of worship, Musalla, where we worship, Musalla, place of worship. Wa'ahidna, and we took covenant, Ila Ibrahima, to Abraham, Wa Ismaila, and to Ishmael. Antahira Baiti. Antahira baitiya, that keep pure my house. On that, tahira, keep pure baitiya, my house, litta'ifina, for who, for who perform circuit, tawaf, come from tawaf, wal akifina, and who remain therein for devotion, wal akifina, and who remain therein for devotion, warukka is sujood, and who prostrate, and who bow, who prostrate, and who bow, who prostrate. So in this uh, verse, Allah the Almighty is speaking of Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam as well, and there is a promise that has been made by, by Allah the Almighty with Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son. Uh, Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam. Burning translation is. And remember the time when we made the house a resort for mankind and a place of security and take you uh, and take you the station of Abraham as a place of prayer. And we command Abraham and Ishmael saying purify my house for those who perform the circuit and for those who remain therein for devotion 
and those who bow down and fall prostrate in prayer. Verse number 127. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا وَإِذْ وَلَدًا آمِنًا وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا وَارْزُقْ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ من آمن بنهم بالله واليوم الآخر قال ومن كفر فأمتئه قليلا ثم أضره ضره إلى أذاب النار وبئس المصير وَإِذْ قَالَ And when he said, Ibrahim, Abraham, رَبِّ جَعَلْ My Lord, uh, رَبِّ جَعَلْ My Lord, make هَذَا This baladan a city, آمِنًا Peaceful. آمِنًا Peaceful. وَرْزُق وَرْزُق And provi you provide أَهْلَهُ Its dweller. Minathamarati from the fruits. Minathamarati from the fruits. Man who Amana he believed. Amana he believed. Min whom from them. Billahi with Allah. Wal yawmil akhiri and the day. The hereafter, Allah, the hereafter. Kala, he said. Kala, he said. Waman kafara, who disbelieved, who, who, whoever disbelieved. Fa'umatte uhu. So I benefit him. So I benefit him. Kalilan, little. Thumma, then. Ad tarruhu. I drive him, atarrahu, I drive him, ila tu, adhabin nar, the punishment of fire. Wa bi'sal, and evil al masir, return, the return. Wa bi'sal masin, the masir, evil is the return, place of return. Now, <clears throat> The running translation is and remember when Abraham said my Lord make this a town of peace and provide with fruits such of its dwellers as as believe in Allah as believe in Allah and the last day, he said, and on him to who, on him to who believers, who, and on him to whom believes not, will I bestow benefits for a little while. Then I will drive him to the punishment of fire and evil destination it is. Verse number 128. What if Yarfawi Wa if and when Yarfa'u he raised Ibrahimu Abraham Al Kawaida the foundations Al Kawaida the foundations mean al Baiti of the house in Al Baiti of the house 
wa ismaila and ishmael rabbana of the lord taqabbal minna accept you accept from us taqabbal minna you accept from us innaka surely you indeed you anta samiul alim anta you as samiu al hearing al alim al knowing These are two attributes of Allah the Almighty. Inna kanta samiul alim. Surely you are all hearing and all knowing. Running translation. And remember the time when Abraham and Ishmael raised found the foundations of the house, praying, "Our Lord, accept this from us, for you are all hearing." all knowing so here allah taala is narrating an incident when the foundations of the kaaba uh, were raised by hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and hazrat ismail alaihi salam and as they are raising the foundation they are also praying to allah the almighty that accept this from us and accept this from us and uh, they are invoking two attributes of allah the almighty as sami al alim so whenever we praying we should keep the attributes of allah the almighty in mind and invoke the right type of attributes at the right time so that our prayer becomes more uh, effective moving on to verse number 125 ربنا وجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك وأرنا مناسكنا وتب علينا إنك تتواب الرحيم rub so they are, so now uh, at the time of raising the foundation they are praying to allah the almighty and those prayers have been recorded by allah the almighty here rabbana o our lord waj'alna make us made us muslimaini obedient laka to you wa min and from zurriyati my progeny zurriyatina our progeny and from our progeny ummatan people ummatan people muslimatan obedient muslimatan obedient so make from our progeny obedient people laka for you wa arina and show us wa arina and show us manasikana our ways of worship manasikana our ways of worship wa tub alaina and you turn with mercy upon us wa tub alaina and you turn with mercy upon us innaka shuri you antal anta tawwabur rahim anta you at tawwab of returning of returning ar rahim merciful ar rahim the merciful so these prayers a uh, running translation would be so the prayers of uh, hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and hazrat ismail alaihi salam continue our lord make us both submissive to you and make our offspring a people submissive to you and show us our ways of worship and turn to us with mercy for you are oft returning with compassion with mercy and merciful so in this verse again we see hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam and hazrat ismail alaihi salam praying for their progeny and we see in this in the next verse it will be even greater prayer for the progeny 
Aladdin. Uh, the, the next is Rabbana wa ba'ath fihim rasulam minhum yatlu alayhim ayatika. Yatlu alayhim ayatika wa yuallimuhumul kitaba wal hikmata wa yuzakihim. Innaka antal azizul hakeem. Rabbana, our Lord, wabath, and you send fihim in them, Rasulun, a messenger. Min whom from them, Jatlu alayhim, who recites unto them. Yatlu alayhim, he recites unto them, Ayati, signs. Ayatika. Ayatika, your signs. Wa yuallimuhumun. And he teaches them. Yuallimuhum. He teaches them. Al-kitaba, the book. Wal-hikma, the wisdom. Wa yuzakihim. And he purifies them. Wa yuzakihim. And he purifies them. Innaka, surely you antal azizul hakim. You are Al-Aziz, the mighty, Al-Hakim, the wise. You are the mighty, the wise. Running translation is, the prayer of Hazrat Ibrahim salam, and his final salam, continues for their progeny. And our Lord raise up among them a messenger from among themselves who may recite recite to them your signs and teach them the book and wisdom and he and may purify them surely you are the mighty the wise so here Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam and Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam has prayed for coming of a, a great messenger in their progeny and remember, in the previous verses, if, uh, the Israelites were chosen because prophets were being sent. When they were warned that if they are ungrateful, then and they then this name of this blessing will be taken away, it will be given to somebody who uh, will be given to uh, someone else. And here, Hazrat Ibrahim, and then next, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Uh, is uh, is being mentioned and his son has a Ismail and the lineage and the progeny that started from has a Ismail so here coming off a great messenger uh, has been uh, mentioned which was in the uh, in the form of a prayer so uh, this was about this was fulfilled in the person of our beloved master the holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and four great tasks have been mentioned here of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu The first task is yatlu alayhim ayati that he will recite Allah's signs upon uh, them. Wa yuallehumuhul kitab. I will teach them the book. Second, the third is the teaching them the hikmah. Wa yuzakkihim. And the fourth is teaching and uh, purifying them. So this uh, uh, was fulfilled again in the person of Hazrat, Hazrat Rasul Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, our beloved master. We'll stop here. Jazakumullahu ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.